Right, I had to have a little break there because I needed to uh, reply to a message and then I realised that I'm going to have that problem with editing videos together again, aren't I? So you may be seeing this as like episode 17, part two. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I hate technology. OK, so on to works in progress. So my first work in progress is actually in a new acquisition. And this was one of my flock purchases um, from my lovely friend, Jem, who is a little grey girl. Sorry, that's got cat hair on it. Thank you, Mufasa. Um, and these bags are brilliant. Um, I've got one already, but they're so useful. And this was a bargain. It was in her cell. Um, these are really useful, especially when I'm on crutches because, God, why is it so covered in cat hair? It doesn't even shed that much. Um, so, yeah, um, when I'm on crutches, it's really useful because you can hang it. And it's quite small, not too heavy. Um, so this is her pyramid bag. And I just love this fabric. I thought it was really cool. Really nice colour. So in here is yet another bunny hop sock. So this is the yarn from uh, Green Lambkin in the bunny hop colourway. And um, I had about 40 grams left after making mine on Freya's. So I thought, oh, I can probably get another pair for a present. So um, I have got in here just in case because the person i'm going to make them for has got slightly bigger feet than me um i have got some neon pink for the toes i'm not entirely sure but i think this is probably um xenon by cute knits i think in the socks yeah range um and then i've got these amazing oh my god they're blowing out so bad um yellow and green which i'm pretty sure we're in a neon mini set from sophia pixie yarns so i thought i'd do pink toes and then one can have a green heel and one can have a yellow heel um because that will pick out the colors in the yarn anyway so just a really simple shorty sock i'm not doing any kind of rib i'm just doing a roll one um and i sure add an afterthought heel so yeah those are just kind of mindless knitting um I've bought myself what they call a mini exercise bike, which is basically just the pedals. Because I've been told that cycling is good for my hip and will keep it strong ahead of the surgery. And obviously it's, it's safe because there's no impact. Um, and you have no resistance on it. But it's really good because obviously, A, I can't go to the gym because they're not open. And B, I think I wouldn't even be able to get on an exercise bike even if I could. So this way I can kind of get comfy on where, whatever chair at home and pedal away. And the bonus is I can knit while I pedal. So that's been my like cycling knitting. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the things we do. Okay, uh, my next whip... I can't exactly show you properly. So um, this is my Rainbow Chronicles um, sock for March. Um, and this month's colour is orange. So I can show you the yarn. The cake's a bit messy now because I'm on I'm down the leg of my second sock. But the yarn is from Somerset Yarns. It's my third month of Rainbow Chronicles and my third Somerset Yarns. Um, it's blowing out quite badly there. Um, in the Summer Nights colourway. So it's like this really amazing orange with like peachy bits and dark pink bits and purple speckles and it's amazing. Um, but this is a test knit so I can only show you the bottom of the foot to see what the yarn knits up like because this pattern, I'm kind of pre-test knitting this pattern because it's a very good friend so um yeah the test knitters don't even have it yet so this is the sole of the foot so you can see how it's knitting up it's really fun really bright and happy you see these like really dark pink speckles which are amazing so yeah it's a shame i can't show you that yet but i'm pretty sure before the end of the month i can um reveal the pattern but it's a very exciting one. Oh, i don't know if it just snuck up into the camera a little bit there i hope it didn't so yeah i'm motoring down the the second leg of those and i just about show you the um car <laughs> oh i'm such a tease such a tease but yes i'm really enjoying those really fun so hopefully they'll be finished this weekend i would have thought okay i've just realized i've forgotten a, a 
acquisition, but I can see it on the shelf behind me, so I should be able to grab it. The next project is also in a new acquisition. Um, I was a bit splurgy in February. So I was chatting to lovely Meg, who is uh, the daughter of the lovely Kelly and Nick Lay. Um, and Meg um, is called A Yarn Dyer's Daughter on Instagram. And she makes beautiful project bags. She's not very confident, but she really should be because they're amazing. Um, so I asked her if she'd make one for me and she made me this amazing, really big bag. Um, in this amazing Bake Off fabric. Look, it's even got a little KitchenAid on it, and a cake, and some scales, and like cookie cutter hearts. It's really cool. And she put these two big pockets on the front. I think, I, I don't know, I'm not an expert in this subject, but I think the fabric is Sophie Allport. Um, it's got beautiful stripes on the inside. I love that detail where the stripes are horizontal inside and vertical on the, the drawstring um so it's huge so it's perfect for a sweater project which is what I really needed I lots of my big project bags were being taken up by um blankets so this is perfect so in here is the Whitmore sweater that I am knitting for Claire um so as you see I'm a big fan of the Whitmore sweater I love it I wear mine all the time I have three and I've knitted one for my best friend as well so Claire wanted one in her Jasper colourway and here it is. Oh, it looks good in that light. Really pretty. Um, I love this pattern. I spent last Saturday motoring down the rest of the lace because I'd left it for a while. Um, but I wanted to get onto the body so it could be my new Zoom knitting. And um, I'm flying down the body now doing it like that because I'm just chatting and knitting and I don't even notice I'm doing it really. And the bonus is that she wants it quite cropped. So I should be done on the body before too long. And I know I'm gonna get to the sleeves and be like, ugh, sleeves, but I'll do it. Um, so yeah, that's the beautiful Whitmore sweater by Amy Lydon. Um, not a lot more to say really. It's fabulous. I'm very tempted at some point to make myself a Whitmore cardigan but I can't decide what colour yet so I will have to wait so yeah the yarn let me show you a full cake the yarn is Jasper by Bird Street Yarn on their um, Elba DK base which is gorgeous I love this DK base this one was knit in um, Elba DK in the pebble colourway. In fact, John invented the pebble colourway, excuse me, invented the pebble colourway for me to knit this jumper and then added it to the collection. So, <laughs> perks, eh? So, yes, amazing pattern, love it. Um, so, final two whips are blankets. In my cat bag lives my um, Rainbow Chronicles blanket. And this month's colour is green. And Kelly very kindly sent me um, this month's pack. So I'm just making sure I don't unravel it. Um, and I caked it up. And it's really cool in the cake. Because you can see the, the graduation of colour. So they're really sort of acidy, limey greens this month. Which I love. It's so bright and springy. Um, green's probably one of the months I wouldn't have looked forward to that much. It's not really my colour but I love it. And I've got the first colour in the blanket and it's so zingy, it's really livening it up. I love it. So blankets coming on nicely now. By my calculations, we should be halfway through. There's eight colours, so just over halfway through. So well on my way with that one. I can't wait so I can snuggle up underneath it. So that is the... Um, Attic 24 granny stripe blanket. I don't know how many stitches I started with because I just chain a load and go, yeah, that'll do, and then fudge it afterwards. <laughs> so professional. Okay. Now, this is one you haven't seen for a while. So uh, I've been talking for ages about my Bird Street yarn blanket and um, people have been so kindly sending me um, packages with um, 
leftovers from all their different uh, Bird Street yarns. Um, and you say a big thank you to Katie, who's one of our lovely flockers, um, who sent me a little package and she included some of the Advent yarns, which is really cool because I didn't have any of mine left. And because it was their first advent as well, it's going to be such a nice one to have in the blanket. So I thought, because everyone was sending me yarns, I really should pick it up and crack on. So here it is. So I'd already done the blue stripe and some of the purple stripe. And now I'm working up the grey stripe. I sort of sat down and, and laid out all the yarns I had and worked out the order of the colours. Um yeah and i do love it i do find this pattern slow and fiddly um i thought being really short rows with very few stitches it wouldn't be too bad but i think because you're constantly turning it's like it makes it a bit faffy and i'm using straight needles but they're a bit cumbersome i could do with shorter ones really but i'm having trouble finding shorter needles i was saying to lucy yesterday what i could really do with is like um little screw things to kind of convert my chow goo into changeables into just really short straight so that would be spot on um and also i had a mishap a few ooh, probably about a week after my injection i was knitting on this and i left the needles i left them down the side of the armchair so that they were out of the way and when I sat down I must have like the my bo my bum on the cushion must have like pushed the needle in like that and it went into my leg into my bad one and it was painful <laughs> and my instant reaction was to drop my trousers for Paul to check it and then I realised the, the blinds were still open <laughs> sorry neighbours if you're watching um but all was fine there was no blood it did puncture my leg and it was sore for a few days but it was fine <laughs> if you know me it won't be a surprise so yeah i'm having fun with this it feels like a bit of a a blank canvas because i can go right i'm gonna have a big chunk of this and a little chunk of that and then i'm gonna do some stripes and then i'm gonna do some um wider stripes and i'm gonna do some like uh regular repeating blocks and you can just do what you like i'm a bit annoyed that i line these stripes up so much but hey i am not unpicking it these stripes came out really nicely so yeah that's where i'm at with that and i'm just going to try and make myself do a little bit here and there i'm not thinking it'll be finished anytime soon i don't care if it's not finished for years but i do need to make some progress on it really so there we go Okay, so that's all the whips. I was just going to show you what was in this bag here. Um, so the other day, I can't remember how it came up, but I was chatting to Rachel on FaceTime, as we do every week. Oh, sorry, there's interesting looking plane flying over. Um, yeah, I was chatting to Rachel on FaceTime. And I said, I was trying to remember something about a project. It might have been something to do with Whitmore sweaters. And I was like, oh, I can't remember what I did. And because I don't use Ravelry to record projects, I didn't, I couldn't remember. And she said, you need to write stuff down. So I was like, right, I'm going to set up a knitting journal. So I found this, um, I had a typo uh, notebook. It's one of their Buffalo journals, which I love. Um, I think one of my friends gave me this for a present. And I had it sitting up on the shelf up here with like all my precious notebooks. Um, so I thought I'd use that gorgeous rose gold sparkles can't go wrong and I'll set it up as my knitting journal so I started with the rainbow chronicles and I've got each month and I've got the yarn the pattern and the colour then so I've set up all the months ready and then down here I've got some little progress trackers so I've got the progress on my blanket I got the pro progress on the main sock I thought I'd do that as a wheel because the colour wheel is a thing, isn't it? In um, Rainbow Chronicles. And then uh, progress on my mini socks that I'm doing with Jules. So one dot for one of mine and one dot for one of Jules's. So that's cool. Then I also set up like a rolling total tally chart for the things I make. I've already made, not counting this month, 12 pairs of socks this year. 
um and then i've got my a record of my friends club socks so i was going to put the the name of the yarn so i didn't forget and the pattern i use then i was going to do each month I, the front page is going to be whips that were already on the needles and then new cast-ons and i do keep a list of that on my phone as well but i just thought it'd be good to have it at a glance in a book and then for each pattern basically i've just got um the title of the pattern and the designer who it's for so this is the whitmore sweater so it's for claire the yarn is bird street jasper dk the needles i'm using and which size i'm doing so i don't forget and then i've just put some details because obviously claire told me what she wanted so i've just put how long she wants the body and the detail on the sleeves and stuff like that and then like i've got uh my rainbow chronicles socks and i've just put how many repeats of the pattern i did for the leg how many repeats for the foot and then how many plain rounds i knit after the pattern before i put the toe in and the same with the heel um and for example i did the bonbon bon bunny and i just put on there about changing down the needle size for the tail with the chunkier yarn so it's just little things that i might forget particularly with socks when you knit one and then it might be a little while before you knit the second one and you just forget it just doesn't stay in your head and it's the kind of thing that used to stay in my head but just doesn't at the moment so it's really useful so i've got that living in this little pouch um and that just stays by my chair and i've got in there a set of pastel highlighters i've got a couple of uh rolls of washi tape i've got a pencil a rubber and a fine line pen um, and a ruler so i can just um you know add detail as i go i can sort of decorate it a little bit if i want to i'm not going over the top but it's just nice to chuck a bit of washi tape on at some point so it's, a, it's quite a useful little thing so thanks rach for inspiring me to do that so acquisitions right i'm just going to reach behind me and grab down there so the first one is a bit of a spoiler alert of the friends yarn club from the dotty wall company so if you subscribe and you haven't got yours yet look away now this is amazing i did have to wait a little bit for it but it was worth the wait because it is gorgeous so hang on i love how it comes in the, the box all wrapped up in tissues like <gasps> when you open it so this is season two and it is called you're my lobster oh and look at it it is so pretty and i know I wouldn't have chosen this if I'd seen it in the shop, but I adore it. So that's why I'm really glad that I'm doing this club. Um, so I've Googled it and the episode of Friends that it relates to is season two, episode 14. So later on, I am going to go and watch that because um, it was quite fun last time. And the last one, I can't remember the number of the episode, but I found it and I watched it and I could really see where the colours had come from so i'm looking forward to um to watching that one so yeah absolutely gorgeous it's on an 80 20 base which is just my favorite it's just bouncy and lovely um so i think that one probably this month will be vanilla socks i don't think i'm gonna do a pattern but i may change my mind who knows who knows so i'd already shown my new bag from little grey girl with that i also ordered one of gems um little knit kits these are so useful this is really small but in there you get a little grey girl tape measure a crochet hook for picking up drop stitches a little pencil get a little packet with um, a darning needle, some waste yarn, a stitch marker and a progress keeper, a highlighter and folding scissors. And these scissors are so good. In fact, in my other one, because I've already got one of these that Jen gave me for a present a long time ago, um, I have got, I had a pair of these and they broke. And I went straight onto Amazon and bought some more because they're just so useful and such good scissors. Um, and they're good as well. Like, cool. In those days, back in those days when we could go on holiday, 
never got stopped taking those on a plane so they were really really useful um so yeah if you're looking for notions i would really recommend these because they're tiny they take up no space mine's just sort of my current one is slightly floating around the living room at all times <laughs> so it's just like I always seem to know where it is it's never very far away so I thought it might be quite useful to have a second one so yeah that's that uh, on there um so I mentioned earlier that uh Jules and I did our monthly yarn swap and with that Jules very kindly sent me this really cute chocolate bunny zipper ball look at that hang on so fun with that little pink pom pom so cute really i should put it i need it i can't find it now but i should put it on the bag with my bunny hop socks in shouldn't i that is too cute thank you jules um and i also mentioned that suzanne sent me the bunny hop yarn she also sent me another package which had this lovely selection of her christmas colorways a little minis they're 10 gram minis so she thought i might like them for like a christmas scrappy project or something which i do i love them they're all sparkle they've got all sorts of fun names got early christmas morning candy cane forest fairy light glow um winter green sugar plum fairy vintage shinies glacé fruit and many others they're just gorgeous thank you so much Suzanne it was so nice to be able to try a whole selection of your yarns and just so thoughtful she also sent me some easter eggs which obviously are long gone she sent me some hand cream and this gorgeous bracelet and I was really touched it was so so kind right then so hands up confession these are not all of my acquisitions from this month but I thought rather than be here for absolutely ages just going through acquisitions that um i'll just show you some and then the others you'll kind of see as i go along so first one is this game of bird street yarn which is called mini egg mayhem i love it just got all these sort of bright springy colors and then like the proper chocolate of the mini eggs oh it's gorgeous i don't know what it's going to be yet but I mean, that is a great yarn to have in stash because it will kind of go with anything. So if I decided I wanted like a, a several colour shawl, it would be perfect. So I love that one. Their update on Wednesday was all Easter, pale, springy. Oh, it was gorgeous. Keep an eye out for more of that because you will love it. Um, so I also, I spotted a bargain. My friend, my other friend, Rach, who is um this nitty life she uh she sent me a link to beehive yarns who was having a bit of a sale yes, her label was really cool i've never had any beehive yarns before but she had this in the sale and it's uh merino cashmere nylon which i've not had for a long time and it was 12 pounds in the sale i could not resist so this is uh the powder puff colorway it's blowing out like mad it's just a really that's better a really soft peachy pink um so i've mentioned already that i was keen with the leftovers from my volcano trail to put together a new find your fade so i think this might go into that because it, it quite works with those kind of peachy colors and so i also ordered these from somerset yarns along with some others but you'll see those at other times um to also go into that fade so this is midnight arizona so i've got arizona in the fade already so i thought midnight arizona was perfect and then i got rave which i've had before i'm pretty sure but oh look at that so neon and fun and that will work really well in that fade as well so i'm really excited to to get cracking with that i'm not going to cast it on just yet but i'm really excited to like keep playing with combinations and really make sure i'm happy with it before i start and my final acquisition is from my lovely friend abby who you will have heard me talk about before abby quinn 28 on instagram um and she is abby quinn prints on etsy and she has made she's been making some stamps with her lino prints and she's made them into stickers 
How fun are these? So I got a sheet of the house plants. I just love that Chinese money plant at the bottom. It's so cool. And I got a sheet of the knitting ones. You can see I've already used one in my journal. They're so cool. These are 150 a sheet. So they're absolutely bargain. And I thought they'd be brilliant for like wrapping presents or um you know, sticking in my journal, anything like that. I know Claire's already sent some orders out with those on, so look out for them if you've bought some Bridge Street yarn. So, I think that's everything for today. Um, hopefully, I'll be back with you in a few more weeks. Um, I'm sure there was something else I was meant to tell you, but I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, uh, in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Uh, keep uh, looking forward to spring and <clears throat> stay safe and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.